This week we're focused a lot on electrification of construction equipment with a primary focus on battery powered small to mid-sized machines. But when it comes to larger machines with higher, pow higher power requirements and longer duty cycles, current battery technology reaches its limit. Joining us to talk about an exciting alternative to address that problem is product manager Per Trozel. Now, Volvo has shown a commitment to the electric journey, and they literally invented the articulated hauler. So these are a lot of firsts in this area. Shouldn't really come as a surprise, right, Per? Oh, that's right, Linda. Uh, I mean, we are so proud to show the world's first articulated haulers powered by a fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cell. That's really nice. It really is. Well, we're going to take a closer look at this unique machine and learn a little bit more about how this technology actually works. So be sure to post your comments and questions to pair in the chat and watch this video. Hello. Thank you for joining me here at the Volvo booth at Conexpo. My name is Per Trussell. I work as a product manager for articulated haulers and wheel loaders at Volvo Construction Equipment. And today we're here to show you the fuel cell battery electric vehicles from Volvo. So inside the engine compartment, we have the fuel cell. And fuel cell is not to be mixed up with hydrogen in combustion engine. This is a fuel cell. It's more a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, uh, creating a flow of electricity. That's how it works. And to refuel the machine, you do simply take seven minutes to refuel and you're good to go for another four hours. So that's how easy it is. So you fuel the machine with compressed hydrogen gas. So as you can see, we keep the all-terrain concept with the rotating hitch, the articulated steering, so this machine can go in any application as the conventional A25 can do today. Thank you for joining me here today at the Volvo booth at Conexpo. And uh, now I'll answer any question you may have. So once again, if you're joining us live, put your questions for Pear in the chat. Okay, so Pear, how about we start by talking about, uh, tell us about the development of this machine. So why hydrogen? Yeah, uh, it's a good question, Linda. I mean, uh, as you can see in the Volvo booth, we already have battery electric vehicles available and they are in production. So building a prototype is just about trying out new technologies, you can say. And hydrogen is uh, really interesting, especially when you're talking about larger machines. So you're actually talking, it's prototypes, right? So yeah. these are not commercially available, but when, when, what do you think the future looks like in terms of Volvo incorporating hydrogen power into the equipment lineup? I think we will see hydrogen and battery electric. There will be a mix. I mean, some machines uh, works really nice with battery electric, but I believe going on bigger size machine, then uh, hydrogen could be more interesting. That's one of the things that I'm, I really love about Volvo is that they actually listen to the customers and look at where things are going and try to incorporate that. And, and those are why we have prototypes. So in terms of being a zero emission, fully electric vehicle, it's only the difference between this and Volvo's, com what's the difference between this and Volvo's compact electric machines? Uh, is it the battery power? Is it powered by hydrogen? What's the real difference? It, the difference is that, uh, uh, first of all, this is powered by hydrogen goes into a fuel cell, and there is where all the magic happens. There, we're creating electricity, which then drives the machine forward. And you don't need to connect this machine to any power grid to charge it. You simply refill the hydrogen, and then you go again. So when people switch from electric to hydrogen, they have to actually change the infrastructure of how they're working, correct? Yeah, I mean, you need to get the hydrogen from somewhere, um, and you need, you need to have hydrogen on site to be able to refuel the machine. So technically there's an upfront investment to do yeah, that, right? To make that shift. Yeah, it's a bit of an investment. Yes. yes. Yeah. So what's the difference between fuel cells and hydrogen in combustion engines? That's a big difference. I mean, uh, you can, this is a fuel cell and there is more a chemical reaction happens in the fuel cell where you mix hydrogen and oxygen and uh, it's, a, it's also resulting in a zero emission uh, exhaust. If you burn hydrogen in a combustion engine, that will give some emission like NOx, NOx, and then you need to take care of that. So that's the big difference. And also the efficiency. A fuel cell have like 50% efficiency. Meanwhile, a hydrogen combustion engine have around 35. So that's also another difference. That is a big difference. Yeah. So um, where does someone get hydrogen if they need to power this? 
for, in, for fuel cells, right? Where would you get hydrogen? hydrogen? I mean, there are companies that are already, already today producing. Okay. We have Shell. We work together with Shell in this project when we build a prototype. And what about um, the refilling of trucks? How do you refill? You need to have a filling a station, and okay. uh, you simply just connect the nozzle, and then uh, the filling station fill it. It takes around five to seven minutes just to refuel. So after refuel, how long does one tank last? I've this prototype uh, lasts about three to four hours, depending on the application you are running in. But remember, it takes only five to seven minutes to refuel. As opposed to electric, where it might take you... Up to an hour. Up to an hour. Even too. if you have a fast charger, yes. Got it. Got it. Um, here's a question from the chat. Um, this is a concept, but the A30, it's based on something that people can actually buy, correct? Tell us a little bit more about the A30 and the jobs that customers typically use this on. Yeah, I think they, they, uh, they talk about the A30 we have here at the Conexpo, and the unique thing with that, that is available, and that is built by fossil-free steel. Yeah. And that's the one you can see. Yep. So what application is this actually ideal for? Uh, this machine, uh, the hydrogen machine, can go in any application where our conventional diesel machines goes today. We so have not really. I mean, we this machine have all the benefit from the all-terrain concept, like six-wheel drive, rotating hitch, articulated steering. Oh, see, look, that's what they're seeing online. So, what um, what can attendees? Um, what if they had to say about this? This is the HX04. Yep, HX04, or as we call it, eCharlie. E Charlie? E Charlie, electric Charlie. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. <laughs> so, what have they been saying about this? They are really interested uh, about the concept. Uh, many customers I've talked to this week, they really believe in hydrogen as an alternative. So, it's super interesting. So, the prototypes are actually slightly different color, too, right? At, right yeah. at the show, yellow is our color, but. Yeah, if you see a green. yellow machine, then you know it's in production. Okay. If you see a green machine, that means it's a, a prototype. So, how does, uh, how does research and development on a concept machine actually work like this? How does it benefit Volvo commercially? Um, and how is it available? I mean, every, every new, new development of machines or any techniques uh, start by a prototype. Got it. I mean, we need a prototype to be able to uh, test and verify uh, and the change concept, it, right? Yeah, and change and go. That's that's the way. That's the way we we drive the company forward. Yeah. Now, has there been any customers here that have actually asked to test it on their side? Oh yeah, many really? customers. Yeah. This when week? can I get it? This when week? can I get it? Wow. Well, I guess that's a good thing for a yes. prototype, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Um, anything else you can think that you've heard down on the floor that uh, people are asking? I mean, they asked about the power, how many horsepower, how many kilowatts. How many horsepower? Uh, the fuel cell can deliver, uh, now I would say it in kilowatts. It's 120 kilowatts, but okay. we also have a battery pack on the machine. Okay. For so back Power up. boost, yeah. Okay. It's another 100, and 100 kilowatt hours. And what kind of applications? Have they been asking about that? Like where are you? Yeah, uh, that's a very... Uh, um, common question and I say to them that this this is a full articulated hauler concept. I mean so with six wheel drive or all wheel drive, it can go in any application where so wherever you already have an articulated yeah. hauler, right? Yeah. So it's no it's just the difference is hydrogen. Yes. Any other questions? How's the show been? Very great. Great. Yeah. I like it's been to be super here. busy. Yeah. 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 Now we finally have a nice day too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Pear, for thank stopping you. by and showing us how this hydrogen fuel cell technology, the beginning, how it emerged into a legitimate power source in the construction industry and beyond. We're really excited when it leads Volvo and the industry and where it's headed overall. If you're an operator or just a fan of Let's Dig 18 or Dirt Perfect, two of our more popular Volvo equipment enthusiasts, you won't want to miss our next segment on Volvo at ConExpo Live. What are these two up to in Las Vegas this week? Or what are other people up to? Hmm. Well, you can get to them complete head-to-head -head in a little friendly operating competition. Watch this. It's coming up next. Stay with us and find out more.